Hello and welcome to the channel. This is a fire lighting session. What day is this? Right. Is that it? It's that one there. Is this the one that's nearly empty? I think it is. Oh. It is, look. That's the one that, that's the one that's uh, Oh, there's the other one going then. Ah. Well, it's caught fire itself anyway. Oh, this is the one that doesn't work. Oh, oh you made a big mess of this, haven't you? Oh, it's like it shows that, that one. Oh, shut up! Right, shut the door. Move that over a bit. That's sticking out. That, oh, what the hell are you doing? Gonna burn your hands. Ah, oh, for God's. Right, that's okay. Well, it's not okay, but it's... Uh, so we've got kindling, we've got some paper, we've got some a little couple of little bits of cardboard, and put, I put um, fire lighters inside this little rolled you know, thing of cardboard and put it in between, below that, and right in the middle there. So that's, so I think the whole thing should, um, should get going. Right, so I was filming today on the way home, and this thing started freezing again. I think it needs emptying. So that's a, a, a job that needs doing. We need to empty the phone. The phone needs emptying. Um, so what's going on today? Well, uh, on the way, well, I had met an umpty today who started going about cross-dressing. So I wasn't going to, like, validate a narcissist here. Uh, I think I will, uh, but I'm okay with it, you know, I'm, it's this woman I knew 25 years ago, and what she said, she's been annoying me, coming over, talking to me, I didn't really want to speak to her, and I'm doing that polite thing, so she's f forcing herself on me, and I don't really want to be friend. like, at first I thought, right, we'll see what she's got, we'll see if she's changed, you know, uh, be open-minded, you know, because I've changed a lot in 25 years, and actually what I've found is she's actually worse than she was 25 years ago. Uh, zero emotional intelligence and probably could get diagnosed with a narcissistic personality disorder. I don't think she's that well actually. Well she's had uh, the big C uh, or so she told me but that doesn't necessarily mean she's had it but um, so you know I think you've got to tread carefully because you could land up so what narcissists tend to do is they try to make it that you, are, you look like a narcissist so that's how they they operate, so what she was saying was, there's some particular, I'll be honest, yeah, it was upsetting me what she said, that it was, um, she's making references to me and what I was, like, she was saying a question like, do you still work on cars? Do you still fix cars? And I said, no. I said, no. And she goes, oh, um, do you know, do you know Tam? Said, no. Oh, he's a cross-dresser, just like you. Do you know that's actually a transphobic hate crime? So what I did was I just sort of like ignored her. And I'd, so you, what you do, what I do is tackle them. There's ways, there's things you could say. What I did, no, I didn't ignore it. I said, this is what I said. I says, oh, well, it all depends what your definition of women's clothes is, you know. Whose clothes are they? Who do they belong to? Something like that. So she's, that's a direct hit. Bang! A, a direct narcissistic attack, you know. And, and I don't even know if she's doing it. I don't even know if she knows she's doing it as such. It's just a normal part of how she operates. So I thought, fuck's sake, why am I putting up with this idiot? Right, you know? I mean, I'd, so I'm sort of like, right. So I really, so I've been trying to, I've not really been asking her questions about stuff, you know, where she's been asking me. It's because I don't want to form a relationship with her. So decided totally that, that it's a waste of time. Uh, so I, she started talking to me last Sunday. She sort of came into my peripheral vision about a month ago and I decided to try and avoid her. And I wasn't even sure it was her at first. And then, so, so now she's... The reason why it was a good idea to avoid her was because she's starting to attack me um, in a narcissistic style. Uh, so uh, full-on narcissism. Um, so that's have no regard for anybody else's feelings, but hers are the only ones that matter, you know. And mooching, as if she started mooching, um, 
well, I mean, there wasn't much. I mean, I've been sort of standoff, careful with her. Uh, so today she, so she bought something last week for a pound. Today she came in with a cup and didn't actually ask me. And I, she sort of had the cup and it was like, uh, have you got any spare water? Spare boiling water? And I says, no, I don't have any water. Because that's true, I'd actually used all the water. She says, oh, I'll get you some water. So she came back. She still didn't ask me for a cup of coffee. I says, what is it you're after? Is it a cup? Oh, it's for the dog or something, is it? For the dog? It was weird. It was a weird conversation. And it turns out she was actually wanting a coffee. I says, all right, you want a coffee? I'll make you a coffee. So I made her a coffee. And then that's like, oh, well, he won't let me, her man. This is all psychological stuff. Her man won't let me, my man won't let me take the stove in the car. But we are doing. Do you know what? I think I'm overdoing this. I think you should stop doing it. It's just, you're just offloading shit that people don't want to listen to. Um, stop it. It's not helpful. So you've offloaded it. End of, that's it finished, right? That's the end of that chapter, right? Let's just call it a chapter. Right, I think the fire's going okay. Um, so, am I going to start pretending that I'm doing this for the sake of you viewers? No, I don't think it's going to do your viewers any good. I think I'm just offloading stress from Sunday when I've done it. So, shall we move on to something else? The fire's going. Um, I can't, yeah, so basically you can't, you can't, um, you cannot expose a narcissist, no. So I've already decided there's a personality disorder going on there. I think I'm going to, like, it's, it's a new word that's been brandished around narcissism, and I think I'm going to use it. So I can if I like. It's my channel and I will, you know. So um, I think that's how we're going to go. And basically, I think I'm going to do is, so I'm maybe not very happy with what I'm talking about in or maybe I shouldn't be doing it. I'm going to put it on anyway. The only time that didn't, happened was when I was advised when the woman attacked me so basically what I'm saying is this is the video and this is what you get and this is what you're going to see and if you don't like it it's not it's it's the way it is so attitude right it's, so it's you're getting whatever happens to be going on with me at the time and even if it puts me in a bad light but I mean obviously I wouldn't put some like if I was doing a burglary or something I wouldn't video that well, obviously I don't do burglaries but if I did what the hell are you talking about oh fucking hell oh, numpty Police crash action, video process taking longer than expected. I don't know what happened with that. So we've got, there was a car crashed off the M876, so uh, 278. Uh, I did plan, I don't know, Lynch and Spingles had 798. I was thinking of going along to have a look at that close up, but it's at the motorway, so you're obviously not allowed to walk along the motorway. Uh, but it is in a farmer's field, and I thought, well, I don't want to upset any farmers. So the way to do it would have been to go to Bowtree's Interchange and walk up the side of the field from there. And I really did consider it, and then I thought, mm, it's not, you're not really going to, well, it might have been all right, aye, but I don't know if it will or not. Why bother? Uh, you know, what I'll say to that is, why bother? So that's Lane Change, Bingo, Calder Road, Edinburgh. Why? Comment. Why comment? So, that's fair enough. So that's it. There's not really a lot going on. There's not a lot of... Um, right, Shug, I'm having quite a good conversation with Shug uh, from Germany and he's saying... Uh, so he moved to Germany... He's got a YouTube channel if you want to see it. Uh, I'll show you. So this is a positive thing. I'm not. I'm not totally agreeing with him, but uh, that's Shuggy Horny Haggis. Uh, I, I watch his videos. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> that's what matters. You do. So you do, and you do, and you do, right? And that's how it works, I suppose, in the world of YouTube. For me, I've got to sort of. I've, I stop watching people if they if if I don't agree, you know, like they might come away with things that I fundamentally feel are. I've done that a few times, and I'm talking about people that are quite big on YouTube or have like huge following. I'll I, if I 
Um, funny when I disagree I'll stop watching the videos I do that it's like going in a huff with somebody but with him I haven't, I haven't had to do that so he's great you know it, uh, it's quite interesting to look at his life in Germany because he's Scottish he's from Glasgow but uh, the life that he's got there um, so he's saying that, now my friend works for a company that that has he works with people that live in Germany and he was saying the same as what Shug's saying about what's happened to Germany it's not about where you're going, it's about who you're left behind. I moved to the dark side, sorry, I mean Germany 13 years ago. It was amazing when I arrived. Now, Germany is literally a cesspit for the world's shittiest humans as soon as they opened the doors in 2015. All the criminals and scum from every dump country flooded here. It went from high trust, super low crime rate, especially violent crime, to lots of crime, especially violent crime, almost overnight. Germany is crumbling, all the big companies are failing. It's identical to the UK in 1979 with the unions, the management, the government all fuck each other until there's nothing left. All the all the unions are out marching with the communists and the environmental zealots that want to destroy the economy. So yeah, I'm watching this place tank fast. I think Volkswagen is genuinely in real trouble. They have nothing to offer. All their ID cars are trash. The new transport is a transit. The new Almaty van is based on the MQB platform. Looks like SUV more than a transporter. So Volkswagen's fucked. Uh, so, so my friend who works who works with people from Germany, he does he does uh, Zoom calls and that one. They said exactly the same thing because I told him what Shug said, and he said it's the same what he's been told as well. Um, so I don't. I'm going to need to answer this one here. I'm not totally in agreement with it. I'll try and find an intelligent way to answer it. So what I'm saying is, I'm. He says I miss Scotland so much. Or at least I miss my best friend from Scotland. I wish I'd never left Scotland. What I said was I wish I had left Scotland. Scotland and indeed the UK is gradually being destroyed. Even worse, what's happened to Scotland? Shutting down the industry. They are mad. So he says this should not be allowed to happen. They're now pumping it from Scotland basically directly to England to be fine, so we lose the ability in the jobs. I think what Shug saying is right, but it's not Jim Radcliffe's fault. Jim Radcliffe is an absolute scumbag. He's uh, well, he's the owner of Ineos, which uh, own, uh, owns the Grangemouth Refinery. I think Shug's right until he gets to that. I think it, Jim Rad. Radcliffe possibly is a, yeah well actually he probably is a scumbag yeah but I don't think um, I, I think it's more of a, a ramification of shutting down the oil industry I don't know if they're shipping it to Eng well they're shipping it from England to they're going to sh when they shut down obviously Grangemouth we're going to have to get oil shipped from somewhere and it's probably Liverpool or something the dock there but it's I don't know where it's going to come from for that Um they're, they're not totally shutting down the oil industry but in Aberdeen, but they are doing a good fucking job of it, I. So, yeah, um, I get what you're saying, Shog. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, I've had a chance to think about that, really. So, yeah, um, like, that'll do for that now. Um, I'm actually feeling really nervous now. I don't know why. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking and everything. It's probably just... I think it's just with the stress of, of getting exposed to numpties. Narcissistic numpties at the car boot sale. <laughs> that woman I was talking about. Not Shug, of course, he's alright. Um, YouTube, um, you know, doesn't really, well, it doesn't affect me so much, but. Um, so we're at 5355. Um, I think the, the video with the. The video with the, the Corsa in the field should. Should bring in some views. Uh, it'd be good if I get some, you know. Um, so in order to get over there, I'd need to walk across that field. Right. Uh, this is as close as. The thing get. I could do, actually. Right mm. in there. So. Aye. There's a copper. I don't there. even know what sort of car it is. I'd have to have a closer look at that. I don't think that is a Corsa. Uh, so that's a bit it, really. Right. Other than trudging across the field which I don't really want to do it's quite far where I was standing yeah uh, it's a, what was it again I think it was a Vauxhall Corsa I'm not sure right so that's that should do okay should get a few views out of that hopefully 
is 280 so far. Uh, let's have a look and see the analytics. Um, 350. Um, so it's not that many in the last 60 minutes. It's only 31. Um, right, okay. Uh, hopefully that'll pick up. Uh, nosy bastards will want to see who's crashed into a field. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know what's wrong with that one. Why is that one failed to load? I'll have to try and do that again. I can't even remember which one it actually was. Um, right. Okay then, that'll do for now. We're going to do, an, there's a car cave has um, put a new cartina on sale. We'll do a video of that. Uh, so there's a fire going like a house on fire, look. What I've got to watch, that's leaning against the, so we'll turn that right down. That's actually, I'll need to get in there and move that up a bit. It's leaning against the glass. That one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um... What we're we gonna do with that? If I open it, it might. Fuck. I can't really film it, and well, I could. I could. Uh, uh, let it burn a bit. Um, I could put that there like that. Come on, numpty. What the hell's wrong with you? Right. Show, it, show them. Show them how it's done. Oh wow! It's not even falling out. I don't think it is against the glass. It's just too close to it for my liking. Yeah. I think I'll just be better leaving it there. Because if I try and push it up, it's, it's probably going to fall down. Uh, I can also clean the glass. Yeah. It's lovely. I actually slept in here last night uh, on the couch uh, while I was duvet, and it was absolutely wonderful. We're having the, I put one of the, um, uh, no, one of the. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to say? I, one of these on. Put one of these on. These are brilliant. Um, oh, right, just aye. It's difficult doing things on one hand, as you probably know. These things. Ugh, ah, these. These are brilliant. Oh, I hate you got off them. These uh, briquettes, they're called. Chamfleur Estate briquettes. Oh, they are fucking amazing. Wood fuel briquettes. Uh, keep away from fire, it says. <laughs> no, it doesn't say that. Oh, don't be silly. Excellent when mixed with or as an alternative firewood logs. 100% sustainable. No binders, no additives. High density gives high energy output. Right? So... That's it. So thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. And we'll get you in the next video. The fire's going. Uh, we haven't used any... We've used a couple of bits of paper and some fire lighters and some kindling. And it's going. And we haven't broken any laws. So you don't need to phone the council. Thanks for watching. Bye. Numpty neighbour next door. Bye.